Hey everyone, it's Ivan, kitbadger.com, out here for another gear review, and today, talking IFACs. This guy right here, which is the Responder IFAC by Live the Creed. So, what is it? It is a trauma kit, made to be carried on your belt or other gear, and the idea being essentially all those essentials in a small, small footprint and easy to access. So this is not like a bump and scrape kit, this is like a gunshot wound kit or something more serious than a band-aid basically. And so the idea being something you can mount in different configurations and isn't going to take up a ton of space and at the same time really quick to access. Right here it's set up on this war belt. On the back here we can see we have these clips by Maxpedition. Undo those, slides through, and it essentially goes through any type of PALS webbing and the way these slits are cut, you can actually run it vertically or horizontally, kind of however you want to do it. Right here though, I have it set up on this belt and again, you want quick access. So there's no zippers, anything like that. It's just this buckle. Once you defeat that, again, think either side reaching around behind you. Once you do that, obviously this is on your person, so it's not gonna move with you, but you just pull it and it comes out. Now you have this that you can put anywhere to include next to or on top of the person you're working on. So all of your tools are right there. So we'll go through what comes in it. Everything is secured with these elastic bands. Inside here, of course, time and opportunity, glove up. These are large bear claw nitrile gloves. They're also tan. I mentioned that because sometimes you have black gloves inside first aid kits or blowout kits, not ideal. Because if you're doing a blood sweep, you're trying to look down at black gloves, who knows if you have blood on you or not. So it has a pair of these in there. We also have these trauma shears, which these are not like the beefiest ones, but you can absolutely cut through all kinds of layers to expose wounds, pretty important. And then we also have this mini compression bandage. This, with a little bit of like ingenuity, you can do a lot of stuff with. And then over here, we have a clotting agent. This one is one of the older ones using Cellox. I believe their newer kits actually have quick clot. This one works the same though. It's a clotting agent. And I believe this one is actually a hemostatic Z-fold. So like you would use that, or I'm sorry, not that, like you'd use any type of gauze, you essentially start packing the wound with this and then you can wrap it with that. And going back to just kind of use your imagination, we have this hyphen vent twin pack of chest seals, which are basically giant pieces of duct tape essentially. So they are made for occlusive dressings for chest wounds, but you can use them like a huge piece of tape if you need to kind of figure stuff out between your quick clot or cellox Z-fold gauze, as well as this bandage. And last but not least, we have this airway. This was really important in certain windows of time, especially with explosions, burn victims, stuff like that. If you don't know how to use one, it's in there. Don't use it if you don't know how to use it or when to use it. This right here is the older version of the Responder IFAC. Newer version, largely exactly the same. Works the same way, all that stuff. Little differences like instead of the Cellox, it has Quick Clot. And also an option they offer now is it's basically cut here. So you can, when you're ordering this, get it with the optional tourniquet holder and CAT7 tourniquet. I would encourage you if you're getting an IFAC, might as well have a tourniquet co-located with it. For my own part, again, this is older. They weren't even offering it. And I pretty much always carry RMT in my pocket anyway. So like that's there, but ideal to have one on there. As I'd mentioned, I've had this thing for probably about five years now. In that time, I've used it on a number of different setups. For a while, I actually was running it on a plate carrier. It was set up, again, nice and low profile. It was there on my person because I was kind of running slick belt and it did a good job. 
The other place, obviously, on a battle belt, this one right here, core. And the thing I like about it is pretty small footprint with respect to width and also how thin it is. If you've ever worked in and around vehicles wearing a war belt, you don't want something giant and thick that you're always sitting back onto. Really uncomfortable, no. So to that end, this is definitely way more comfortable. I've also actually had this set up in a sling bag. So I was taking a runation, like a low vis carbine course where I'm drawing guns out of bags. And I'm pretty sure I was wearing a track suit, so didn't really have any other place to carry the IFAC. So I actually had this set up inside a sling bag. Again, using the palace webbing, had it mounted down there, and it was handy. Like I had my gun, had my first aid kit, had a reload in there too. Like, pretty solid setup. And during that class, I actually broke this thing out. No one got shot, but kind of a little hip pocket med class, so burned through the stuff that was in here as far as my supplies, and yeah, definitely worked through those skills. If you're looking for a good IFAC, I would encourage you to check this out, especially if it's gonna be belt mounted and you're gonna be in and around vehicles. Having something small that's not gonna end up hurting your back while riding in vehicles, it's a pretty big deal. And it has basically everything you need for like trauma. There's no band-aids in here, but with those things, you can actually do a lot of work with a little bit of know-how and a little ingenuity. If you are gonna get one, price-wise, you're looking at, I believe, 160 or 190. 160 without the tourniquet holder and tourniquet, probably go with the 190. May as well get the tourniquet co-located there with your IFAC. This thing is made here in the US, laser cut, laminated Cordura, all that stuff. As I mentioned, have this thing for probably over five years now. Still going strong. Still haven't lost my Velcro PVC little first aid patch that came on it. And yeah, things done a good job. So if you're interested, there'll be a link down below. And last but not least, if you appreciate my content and want to support it, greatly appreciate it. One of the ways is supporting me directly through Patreon. Little as a dollar a month gives you early access to videos, some exclusive content, and active Discord. If you have questions for me, happy to answer them over there. But as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.